Hi, I'm going to show you how to manage teams or groups within your club or organisation. After logging into iBelong2, select Members, then Manage Teams or Groups. On this page you'll see a list of the teams in your organisation. We're going to add a new team. Click Add Group or Team and give your group or team a name. I belong to allows you to allocate roles within your, your group or team. This particular group has got a leader. Just type the first letter of the person's surname, then select their name from the list. They also have a coordinator These two boxes indicate whether or not this is an active group or team. If you uncheck the active box, the group or team will not show up in your list of groups or teams. This is useful if you wish to actually delete the group or team, but you've sent out communications to them. Uh, you've used I belong to to send them emails uh, or post or labels uh, for postage. Uh, if you do that, then you cannot delete the delete the team or group afterwards, but you can make them inactive. Just uncheck that box. Uh, this box here is for if you want to include this particular group or team on your reminder notices. Perhaps you want people to nominate to whether they still want to be part of this group or team. So uh, in this particular instance, that's probably a good idea. Um, so I'll leave that checked. We then click Save. And there is your new team. We're now going to add members into that team or group. Select it, then click Add or Remove Members. Depending on the size of your membership, this box could take a few seconds to load. We're now going to put some people into there, so we just select them from your list of members. Just pick a few at random here. Uh, maybe get some with their surname starting with this group. That'll do. Then click Save. You'll now find that you've got five members in your subcommittee group. We're now going to print out that group. So we highlight the group. Uh, we first of all click List to Print Members, then select canteen group. We're just going to ask for their first name, last name, perhaps the phone numbers. Then click print. And there is your list of members including your leader and coordinator which you can now print. The other thing you can do is edit the details of a team or group. We're going to add the year in front of our steering committee. Select the group, then select Edit Group or Team Details. Another way of doing it is just right clicking and selecting Edit. Let's put 2012 in front of there. In this way we can keep track of our steering committees or any other teams or groups going back over a number of years. We might also decide to add in a uh, manager and click save. See that this group now has a 2012 in front of it. And that is how you manage teams or groups within I Belong 2. Thank you for using I Belong 2.